Welcome to State of Tech. Let's take a look at Alto invoicing available for the iPhone and the iPad. Go ahead and open it up. We've already signed in with our account, and so we're brought into that account, and now I can manage and access all of my tabs. So I'm brought into clients by default, and I can tap into my invoices, which I can see all the invoices I've created. Then I have estimates, where I can create client estimates. I have my times, which I can view and track times. That way I can take these times later and import them into my estimates or invoices. And then I have my actual quarterly, monthly, and yearly earnings. So let's head back into the first tab, which is clients. And if I tap on this client, I can see all of my clients information. So I can quickly email them, I can call them, I see their profile image, I have their address, web address, how many invoices I have out for them, how many hours I've tracked for them, and who my contact person is. I can tap edit in the top right hand corner and edit all of that information, or I can come back out to my clients and actually tap that plus button and add in a new client. By default, it's set to organization, and here I can add in a photo of the organization, and then I can add in a photo of the contact person. So I can enter in the company name, phone, URL, email address, and then people is where I'm gonna add in the contacts for that company. Now, if this was an individual instead of an organization, tap up there on the top of the screen, and now I can enter in an individual, which just gives me all of the name, email, phone, URL, and address, instead of adding in the organization information and then adding in a contact person. Once you've added in all the information, tap save, and that client will now be added out to the client section. If you ever get a long list of clients, you can always tap in the search field up here and then search for your clients, and they'll also be shown alphabetical in this menu. So now it's coming to our invoices where I can go ahead and see my invoices. Tapping on one will show me the invoice that I've created. I can see all of the units and descriptions of units that I've added in here, the totals and subtotals and any notes, and who it's from and who it's going to. If I'm ready to send this, just tap send, and it's gonna send that off to the contact person and give them all of my invoice details. Now I have the keyboard down below where I can tap in there, and I can actually add in and edit my invoice number, or if I tap on the actual book here, I can actually quickly enter in these automated tags to automatically fill in sections of the invoice email. When I'm ready, just tap the send button in the top right hand corner, and it's gonna send that invoice. But this is an invoice I've already created. Let's take a look at actually creating an invoice. Tap on the Create button in the top right-hand corner of the Invoices section, and here I can enter in all the information. Now this is using my default invoice template, which we'll show you how to set that later on in the video, but I can give my invoice a title and ID. I'm gonna choose my client, so we'll go ahead and choose our client right there. It looks like I've logged 16 hours with this client, and I'm gonna go ahead and import those. And it's gonna automatically allow me to choose what I want to import. So I'll hit the check mark, and notice whenever I hit the check mark, it's gonna remove that object from my invoice. So no longer will that time tracking be added. So I'll remove the ones that don't apply. I'll tap import, and now you'll notice down underneath products, those have been imported from my time tracking. So right now I have my client set, I have my date set, when this invoice will be due, I can tap in any one of these areas and actually change it. So the invoice is due upon receipt, I can go 7, 14, 30, or 60 days, or even choose other and enter in my own custom date time. And now down below that we have our products, which I've already imported the products from my time tracking, but if I tap add product, I'll be able to add in a quantity, unit, price, total, and description of that product, and even add in my own attachments. Down below that, I have my currency, so right now I have a California sales tax, and I can even add in another tax if I needed or required it, and then if I wanted to give the client a discount, I can tap in here and do a discount. Now I can do a straight dollar amount, or I can choose to do a percentage. Down below I have my notes, and then I can add attachments. Notice with attachments, I can choose to add files from Dropbox, or I can choose to use my camera and attach a file for my camera. And then down below, I can allow them to make their payments via Stripe, Square Cash, or PayPal, and then I can down below add in the payment details. When I'm ready, go ahead and tap Save. It's gonna save this new invoice and add it out to my list of invoices.
Now I can see this invoice. I have my actual default template set up and all the information that we just entered in is now in the invoice. I have one last chance to edit it up in the top right hand corner will allow me to edit all the information of the invoice. But if I'm ready to, all now I have to do is tap send and it's going to send that invoice off to my client. Now creating estimates works the same way as creating invoices. If I jump into my estimates, I can quickly see what the estimate looks like. And it's pulling in the same kind of template that my actual invoice uses. And I'm going to have the same fields to fill out whenever I do an estimate. Now time tracking, I can come in here and I can see all the times that I've tracked for the specific client and see how much billable hours that has actually accrued. Now what I can do is just tap in the top right hand corner and actually create a new time. So I'll say on this one I worked two hours. I'm going to choose the client that I worked for. I can add in notes such as web design. Or what I can do is tap on the book and actually add in some predefined tags. So I'll go ahead and do so. I'll add attachments. I can choose my Dropbox, GitHub, or I can actually choose the camera as well. Once I've done all that, what I'll now do is tap save and it's going to add in my default hourly rate to that. And I can even tap on the clock button and it's actually going to open up the app store and allow me to type in and download Alto's timer so that way I can use that and it will automatically import my times into this app. And then I have my reports. So I have monthly, quarterly, and then yearly. And you can see that bar graph changes as I type into one of those. And down below that graph, it's going to show me my best month, my average earnings, my biggest client, and my total earnings. And I can even see my hours logged. And then I have my monthly, quarterly, and yearly. And then I have my top performer. Now let's head back into our clients tab and quickly go over a few settings. So tapping into the settings, I can see my profile, which will allow me to edit my profile name and password. I have my company, so I can edit all my company information. I have my team, where I can see the team members that are part of my company, and I can tap the plus button to quickly add in a new team member. My defaults, I'm going to choose to be able to add in all of my defaults. So my current default template is Kepler, but I can swipe through or hit the buttons down below on the bottom of the screen and choose my default template for whenever I create my invoices. I can then set my default hourly rate, my invoice order, my estimate order, choosing my default currencies and invoice due dates, even input my default taxes, and then I can choose my bookmark keywords, notes, invoice notes, payment details, and even email templates. We'll come back out. I can set my notifications to receive notifications when my invoices come due and my billing notifications when my clients pay their bills. Down below notifications, I can come into apps and actually connect my Stripe, Square Cash, PayPal, GitHub accounts, and even Slack. So that way I can receive mobile payments and even add certain invoices and events to my Slack feed. Then down below apps, we have our subscription. By default, you get five invoices and estimates for free. And then once you've reached that limit, you'll have to come in here and purchase a subscription, which you can see what you will get by doing that subscription here in this menu. And then as always, there's a help section and then we can log out of our account down at the bottom. So once again, this application is called Alto Invoicing. If you like it, pick it up for your iPhone and iPad in the App Store.